My name is H.W. <laughs> I'm the Seuss. Uh, Seuss, this is all about beautiful, big cleans. Yeah. Because this is the 68 Twin 15. Mm -hmm. And uh, I picked this amp up. Everything's liquid, by the way. Mm. There's like 28 liquid profiles in here. Is that just to answer the question, are these liquid? Yeah, I put, liquid in, I put liquid in the title. <laughs> if there's anything but liquids in there, people go, these are liquid. And right, it's like, yeah. just look at the ones that say liquid. Anyway. So much liquid. Uh, so many liquids, liquid everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's what she said. <laughs> 68 Twin 15. I was at a guitar center one time. Yeah. Walked in. And, you know, they don't usually have great vintage stuff. No. Sometimes they do. But, you know, it's usually <laughs> priced real high. Mm -hmm. And I go in there and I see this beautiful 1968 drip edge twin. Mm. And, uh, I go, Oh my gosh, that looks great. And I go, I go look at it and the price is good. And I go, what these go for more. And I am looking at, and I flip it around and I realize someone put a 15 inch speaker in here, mm. but I quickly realize it's a D one forty F it's um, the, the 130, 140, almost the same speaker, different doping. I think there's a little change, but it, the high end extends higher on the 140. So I go, this is the same vintage 15 that's in my Vibralux. I go to the Guitar Center guys. I go, hey, uh, this amp, uh, know anything about it? They go, no, man. Oh, but guess what? Did you look at the back? There's a 15. And I'm thinking in my head. Yeah, that makes it cooler. Yeah, you're right. Not less cool. But they were like, yeah. someone pulled out the 12s. It's not the original mm. speaker. I'm going, it's not the original speaker, but it's like original to those years. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's actually original to like uh, probably a 64. Okay. They, they stopped using those 15s uh, hmm. uh, in the mid 60s. But anyway, uh, so I go, this is awesome. So I buy it, of course. I bring mm -hmm. it home. And um, it's just got a bunch of vibe, bunch of mojo. Who would have done it? Probably a lap steel player. 15s were big for those guys. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a Dumble guy. You know, Stevie used a 15. Yeah, that's true. It might have been someone who was like kind of after a 15 sound, mm -hmm. going for more of a bluesy Dumble thing. Might have been a steel player. There was a set list in the back of it. Oh, that's cool. And uh, Do you think it was changed in the 60s or like in 2012? <sighs> It's in great shape. I don't know. Huh. But what I know is they didn't make a twin like this. Yeah, yeah. Because you could blow the speaker, mm. potentially. Mm -hmm. So on paper, a manufacturer probably wouldn't want to ship these two together. Mm. Uh, not because they blow right away, but there's a potential to blow. You usually want your speakers to handle a lot more so that you don't right. have amps coming back. Okay. I'm gonna someone say either old. put it to, yeah, yeah. I think old, but someone either put it together knowing what they were doing or it happened a long time ago. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 I've always loved twins though, man. I've owned a few mm -hmm. uh, in the past mm -hmm. and so unbelievably heavy, but yes, <laughs> not heavy yes. tones, not heavy, Just tones. heavy, uh, poundage. Well, but. this ha because it has a single 15, this one's a little lighter, but, um, mm. but it's not light on tone. See mm. what I did there? Uh, this is, um, super good. So check it out. I did a bit. You might be going HW. Wait a minute. I thought liquid profiles meant less profiles. <laughs> nay, nay, N no. More is more. More is more. Here is uh, what you were just playing there at the beginning. All I did was take the chorus off. Mm -hmm. VB, V for vibrato, LP for liquid profile, mm -hmm. V for vibrato, vibrato channel, B for bright switch. If you don't see a B, there's no bright switch. F for fathead, S for SM545. Wow. There's RS, FS. Is this like coding? Is this what they it's mean like coding. by coding? We're basically coding at okay. this point. Yeah. So here's the bright switch on. I, this is kind of how I would set up the amp and use it. It sounds like this. If you want to hear that same thing, but let's, uh, let's go find the same uh, FS but no bright switch. It's just like turning the bright switch off on the amp. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Mellow, yeah. A lot of fatness from the fat head. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go over RS. Here's the Royer and the, and the SM545. Same, mm. same thing, just vibrato channel, no bright switch. Less low end there, less fatness. Yeah. Almost comes across as brighter right away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you've got obviously it's um, it's uh, uh, liquid, so we can go real clean. And this is still just going to be clean. You know, these things don't break up a ton. the bright switch you get a little more uh breakup um hmm. kind of you just get more high end right it so you, you kind of get a nice uh like this sort of thing if you want it i mean this, this would be blisteringly loud <laughs> you wouldn't ever really do this to this a is twin. The amp on 14 yeah, yeah yeah maybe if you're playing with two drummers you could turn it up this loud <laughs> Rock and roll. Beautiful. Rock From and roll. From a twin. From a twin. Yeah. So uh, I added some pedals in here. Like, um, uh, here's like a Klon esque type thing. Yeah, try the neck, like Mayer esque. You know what I mean? That was no clon. Now here's the clon esque drive. You know, yeah, that's something. Cool. Here's a little uh, tubey screamy action if you want to fatten it up. And these are kind of, you know, these are kind of like just go to settings. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you kind of. You know, there's nothing too special about these effects, but here's effects that sort of match the the amp. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites. We never talk about this enough. It's the um, full OC. Oh, it's the yeah. full tone OCD. It's in here. Hmm. It kind of hides in here, and we don't always talk about it. You've had every version. I've owned every version there's in real life, proof. and now and there's a <laughs> Kemper version. Right. You know what I kind of want to do one day? Yeah. I kind of want to make an OCD clone hmm. and then put it out, but say it's version K. Oh, like you know, maybe like an April Fool's, and be like, this right. is actually modeled after the digital full tone uh, ocd in the kemper but it's analog we we emulated it but right. in the analog world next april yeah <laughs> <laughs> V for vibrato channel, normal mm -hmm. channel, uh, like normal. This will be kind of mellow. And here's like a single mic. Here's a uh, an M7, kind of a um, wonderful microphone. Um, if you wanted something just the N, it's, the, it's an SM545 by itself, but mm -hmm. just the N, uh, it's just a normal channel. It's mm -hmm. cool. Yep. Sounds like... Uh, what you might expect. Yeah. I did put in some... Uh, just, just a bunch of mic choices here. So you get... 
you get all these like kind of things together and then some of them separate. Um, MS means, uh, um, M7, mm-hmm. which is like the U87 with the, uh, uh, with the SM545. Yeah, cool. You know? Beautiful. Cool. Let's try it with uh, let's try it with a humbucker guitar. Yeah. That's a raging. Yeah. That's a raging twin. If we want to get real clean with the humbuckers, you know, mm-hmm. you can really clean it up. I'd say you put on three and a half or less, mm. and it should stay pretty clean with almost any pickups. You know. Nice sound. Obviously, that's uh, uh. What was that? One twenty one. Yeah, that's the R one two. Just the one twenty one by itself. I like those things, man. They sound yeah, good. Yeah, they do sound good. Um, here's um, here's kind of same thing, but with no bright switch. Mm-hmm. And we'll go for a very like classic Fender sound. Here's a trem. Here's the uh, the chorus, or sorry, not the chorus. These don't have chorus. They uh, here's the spring verb. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice spring verb. Little uh, little wobbly. <laughs> It's just got a, uh, overall, the 15 gives it kind of a different vibe. Like, yeah. there's a little more, um, I don't know, maybe it's speaker breakup, maybe it's a little, it's just a different mm-hmm. uh, thing than the 12s. I almost don't know how to describe it. Sometimes yeah. the response feels like it sounds slower, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, it's not as immediate. Mm-hmm. Um, like, it's got some more, like, give or, like, yeah. just kind of... Yeah, like maybe there's, some, and I don't usually don't think of a twin as having like compression, and yeah. I wouldn't really say this has a lot of compression or anything. It just kind of feels like it's got um, kind of pillowy. Yeah, 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 it is. It's like a nice, comfortable sort of thing to play mm-hmm. on. Um, here, we'll, we'll, I'm trying to find the RS. See, there's so many options in here, Sue. There's 28. Right. <laughs> That's you know? what happens. 28 yeah. of a little amp that people go. It's only have like four knobs. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's got reverb and trim too, but. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the people ask, and so they shall be given, so you know, mm-hmm. people said, uh, Hey, HW, the last pack only had six liquids in it. There you go. Well, here's 28. <laughs> oh, did I mention there's directs and the liquid, the directs uh, are liquid as well. Yeah. Liquid directs. Oh, cool. So go ahead and put it through any, any IR, any cabinet you want. Okay. Um, here's a NRS. This is like, just plug in channel one. There wouldn't be effects normally on this, but we don't play the guitar with any effects, do we? Don't we? Sometimes. Don't we? Sometimes we do, but rarely. <laughs> Never on camera. Um, this is what it sounds like. It's it's a fantastic pack, uh, 68 twin. I, I'm super glad we've got the liquids mm. now because it really does kind of feel like you're sitting in front of this uh, this twin now. Yeah, true. I think great for pedals. I think this is going to be, um, we're going to do some videos with the player mm. and running some pedals into the player. Yeah. And this is, I think, going to be a favorite mm. um, sort of platform. This, you know, and the deluxe. Um American, but different flavors. This is real big and nice and um, pillowy, yeah. like you said. I like that. Yeah. Anyway, I've been HW. I've been Seuss. <laughs> 